Hey guys, happy homebrew SJ Pour pack job and some other stuff. Turn this around. Happy homebrew Wednesday. Wednesday. Woo. 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 Ric Flair. <coughs> Excuse me, fake bread IPA. So yeah, put that down right there. So just got done Tuesday evening. Evening. I just got done packing away my SJ Pour beer so uh, Tyler when you get that it's already got a already got a pretty good mashup in the corner but um yeah that's what I did I should have had this done already should have been shipped already but anyway I'm a slacker oh anyway this thing right here the Ferrari bench capper is freaking awesome made life so much easier so easy just uh, hardly any effort um, I got that in the mail last week I got this dude in the mail last week. Light in the way. So it's got two protective covers. You can use this small one here as a as a tray to measure everything out. But anyway, one handed not gonna do it. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty stinking nice. Oh power. Turn you off. Whoop. Okay, only thing I don't know is what is that PCS button do? I have no idea what that means. Don't know. But uh yeah, that's it. Um Oh, I'm going to try to keep this one short this week. Um, so, yeah, I got the MSJ4 beers bottled. Then I uh, pack them up tonight and get them shipped out tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Um, yeah. One head and I got a case of them. If anybody cares, those are the uh, caps that I'm using. Pretty awesome for shitty beer. Um, let's see. So, really, I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I don't want to talk about a whole lot. Um, but anyway, the keg's about empty of my SG4 beers. But anyway, this is what I did Sunday. Sunday, Sunday! See, on the right is an arrogant clone, arrogant bastard clone. That is from uh, the Brew365 website. And on the left is a straight two-row and Galena um, smash beer. And when I say smash, it is all two-row and all Galena hop from 60 minute, and I think there's 20 minute, then a 10 minute, then a 5 minute, I think, I, I don't, I don't quote me, but I think that's it, I'd have to look, but anyway, yeah, hit my numbers on both, um, I'm going to turn up at this beer right here, I can't believe how, how light it is, um, I can't, like, you know, kind of want to see what happens after fermentation is over, because that thing was so straw yellow, um, I've never had a beer quite turn out that pale. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of people say you're not going to get a light colored beer out of a system that uses a rims tube. Well, I'm just anxious to see what happens with this one. Because I think it's going to be probably the, the palest beer I've ever made. But that is a, um, Carlisle Smith, um, inspired Galena beer. Um, he did a Galena beer, but it was mainly... Oh, late edition hops. He uh, bittered with, uh, I think, Warrior, maybe some other stuff. But um, yeah, he's. he's just, I think, well, you know, Carl, I could do a side was chatting with Carlisle a little bit, and um, he sent me the recipe, and then I thought about doing it, and I just said, well, I'm, I'm going to do a straight Galena smash. I use Galena a lot for bittering, um, but I've never really used it for late edition, so it's all there now. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, see how it turns out. Um, oh crap, let's see if I can turn around and walk this way while well, I was walking in my, in my dungeon. But my brown has the start of a small pellicle. So yeah, it's pretty neat, pretty interesting. So that's it. Um, do, 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 get out of here before I bump my head and say a bunch of cuss words. Um, yeah. As I say, um, another uh, couple hundred times. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm done. Got my, oh, got a new Vittle Vault. That's got the uh, 55 pounds of uh, Avant Garde Pale malt in it. So I've got that one and the other one. So yeah, I've got two of them now. Um, that one, I think it's maybe got 15 pounds of grain in it. So yeah, anytime soon, another brew maybe, and I'll probably end up having to fill that sucker up. But yeah. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to get another drink and sign off, and you guys can go uh, look at some clips.
Oh, cheers, guys. I'm going to brew this some bitch here pretty soon again. The old 644 yeast is a favorite. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Now, we've been going for a minute. 20, 22 minutes left in the mash, heating up my uh, sparge water. Recirculating, and we're mashing. That's the uh, arrogant bastard clone. Um, my own personal clone now. I see this is my third, third attempt at a arrogant bastard clone. I'm not really trying to get close, but that's the. Um, if you guys look for the arrogant bastard all grain clone recipe on the interwebs, that's the uh, Brew 365 recipe. So uh, all Chinook. Um, you know, I've. I've there was used to be able to find a, um, a stone, a bunch of stone recipes on BYO, um, and then what it was was an excerpt from one of the stone books, and uh, the very first one I ever made was was that stone, uh, Eric and Bastard clone. So whatever, I'm not trying to get close. I just like the beer, so I'm gonna make it. I want something, uh, you know, something strong, something but still something that's got some hop there. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. A little more later. Starting sparge beer number one. Sorry about the fog. There's that. See, doing good. Let's slow that down a little bit. But anyway, yep, got me grains ground, crushed for my Galena smash, smash. More to come. My cooling, my uh, first beer, so. Got my pre-chiller uh, set up, and we're gonna see how this goes. Um, don't know, expect a little leak on that back fitting, but um, I'll take care of that. But anyway, here we go. I did added about a gallon, maybe a gallon of water, well, maybe not even quite a gallon of water, but anyway, just to uh, get a little surface area around those coils, and um, you can put your hand on this side and hand on that side, and there's a considerable difference so right now yeah my my temperature's dropping pretty stinking quick you guys can't see it with the stinking light on my shitty phone there you go we're down 126 92.8 it was before i started recording so it was still around 95 so yes yeah, dropping dropping pretty good pretty good this is killing it i got i turned the volume through down to try to get just to pull more cold Use it to try to get the more efficiency out of the ice, and uh, you can't see that I can't see it through my phone. But yeah, it's well, it wasn't dropping much, so I went ahead and turned it on for full bore, and it's uh, all balls right now. And it's yeah, pretty pretty impressed so far. It's working more on the output, obviously, that's going through the cooler, it's taking more time to drop that. But right now, that's at 99.5, and when I started this, it was still over, it was about 107. So 99.1 now, so yeah, it's pretty good stuff. And that's that's a big bag of ice. Um, you go to the gas station. That's the large bag. About I think I said about about a gallon of water in there with it. So yeah, it's pretty pretty good. I'm glad I did it. Uh, one of the worst things about a double brew day, sparging the second beer. I fly sparge, so yeah, I know it takes me it takes me longer. If I would just batch sparge, everything would be a lot faster. I know. But I'm old and stuck in my ways, but here we go. This is a Galena Smash. Um, 13 pounds of Galena. I'm going to dry this bitch out. Usually I, uh, well, usually, like I've done a lot of Smash beers. Um, I've done a few, and I like the ones that I've mashed higher. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to dry this one out anyway. Um, it's about 55 IBUs. It's um, three quarters of an ounce at 60. Three quarters of an ounce at... 15 three quarters at I think 10 or I can't remember but anyway it's 13 pounds of two row and uh, basically 55 IBUs so that's it um, yeah can't wait to get this over with it's been an easy day but it's getting late see you boys I hit my numbers on my arrogant bastard clone sure